Wolf Pack! Wolf Pack! Wolf Pack! Wolf Pack! Stop saying Wolf Pack! On a warm, breezy, summer day, Gideon drove to a stranger's house to buy an amp. That stranger's name was Peter. Peter had a good reputation on the online marketplace to uphold, so he had to make sure the amp was clean of dust and grime before Gideon arrived to pick it up. As Peter took his rag and cleaned every nook and cranny and crevice, he reminisced on the many memories he had with his amp. Some were joyful, while others were dark and dreary. Over the years, throughout various phases of his life, Peter had grown quite attached to his amp, and had thought long and hard before accepting, with a heavy heart, that he and his amp had to part ways. It is a strange phenomenon that humans sometimes form an emotional bond with inanimate objects, whether it is purely a psychological projection or if there is truly something meaningful and real that we have with these objects. It is with this very phenomenon that our story begins. Hey! Hey! Gideon, right? Yep. Peter, it's nice to meet you. Hope you found the place all right. Oh yeah, I used GPS so it was no problem. <laughs> Gotta love that technology, right? <laughs> Well, there she is. Ah, very nice. Yep. Had it for a while now. Bought her brand new in 2005. Looks great for 2005. <laughs> well, what can I say? I take care of my gear and uh, they take care of me. Tubes are pretty fresh. Changed them out back in January. Oh, that's great. You can't beat the sound of a tube amp. No, you cannot. She's got some decent reverb. Doesn't sound half bad. She's got handles on it for easy moving. She could be a bit heavy, but, you know, I like me a thick girl if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She has been through hell and high water with me. Hate to see her go, but you know what? I think it's time. She's got to move on, and, well, so do I. Well, she'll have a great home with me. I mean, I can tell you I'll it's take her It's almost like a marriage coming to an end, you know? Marriage to your high school sweetheart. You know, the girl you never thought in a million years would ever look at you. Never thought in a million years you'd end up together, but you did anyway. 2005. I was in high school at that point. And you must be nostalgic. I mean, this thing's been My around. My parents were getting a divorce in 2005. Oh, shit. Yeah. I remember I'd come home from school one day and my dad would already be drunk and my mom and him would be yelling at each other. They'd be all like, I can't believe I wasted 17 years of my life with a piece of shit like you. Well, there ain't been no fucking picnic for me neither. And my dad would smack my mom and I just knew that if my dad was giving my mom a beating that I would be next. That's really dark. Yeah, it was a custody battle, but get this. It was to see if the other one would get custody of me. Can you imagine that? Just tossing away your son like that? <sighs> so there I was, in my room. No girlfriend. No friends. No parents. No family. No, just me and my amp. I saw that it has two channels. Yeah, it has a clean and a gain channel. Can you get the clean channel pretty loud without the overdrive kicking in? Yeah, I'd say pretty loud. I mean, I've used it to drown out the screaming of my parents, so it definitely works its magic. You know, I just don't understand how your parents, the two people that are supposed to be by your side your entire life, would fight tooth and nail just so they don't have to be responsible for you anymore. I mean, what the fuck did I do? I didn't do anything wrong. But you know what? If there was one person in this world that was there by my side in this whole fucked up world, do you know who that person was? Do you know? Do you know, Gideon? Was it, your amp? it was my amp! My amp was there whenever I needed her. Oh, all the anger, all the misery, all the dejection and rejection that I was feeling, all the emotions that couldn't, couldn't come out of me just rang through this fiery bitch like some sex-crazed siren trying to call every sailor from a 300-mile radius to come and 
bend her over and fuck her brains out like some whore of Sodom and Gomorrah, huh? Oh, mercy me. Oh. But I never fucked her like a whore. Oh, I can never fuck her like a whore. I loved her, Gideon. I loved her and she loved me. Oh, oh no. I'm here. I'm here, honey. We're together. We'll always be together, you and I. Well, I have the $80. I have to get going. I, I can load it up myself. So that's it. Eighty dollars and you walk away with my woman. Yep, take the money and I'll get out of here. No. Not like that, Gideon. See, you don't pull up into my driveway, come into my house, flash your fucking money in my face, and just take her away from me like some whore in the street. Her and I, we have history. We have a connection. I love her. I love her, and she loves me. And there is nothing you can do about it. Never mind, I'm good. What the fuck? What's the matter, Gideon? She's not beautiful enough for you? Huh? You don't like her anymore? You came all this way. You're not gonna try her out a bit? Dude, I, I don't want the amp, okay? I, I just wanna go home. You're gonna look me in the eye and tell me you don't want her? Come on! Not even for a quick pluck? Got her all warmed up for you? Just gotta put her in! <laughs> I wish I knew how to quit you. Oscars, goddamn.